Guess who was invited early access to play City Skylines 2 but was fashionably late to the party all because he didn't check his business email. Here's my City Skylines 2 Steam library and look at the hours played, just 7 hours. Then when we scroll down, you can see in the activity feed on October 20 was the behind the scenes number 4. Then I played City Skylines 2 for the first time after October 20 because yesterday was the behind the scenes number 5 on the 21st. Then when we look at my City Skylines 1 library, my last day played was on the 20th because after that day, I started playing City Skylines 2. Now I have just become an absolute legend and all for the wrong reasons. Okay, let's get started with a new game and I will go with the Lakeland map as our learning city. But of course, we will eventually explore the other maps. As a City Skylines 1 tradition in this channel, I always name the city after the map name and include the date when I started. So I can immediately answer whenever someone asks what map I'm on. In game, you can change the building styles, but the theme of the city is locked to the service vehicles, roads, road signs, and traffic lights. So if you want North American police cars and other service vehicles compared to the European service vehicles, you need to finalize the settings here. So here's our starting tile, which is slightly smaller size than the CS1 tile and immediately we have landscaping tools available so our first order of business is to flatten the terrain so we can easily view and appreciate the structures without any awkward terrain or what I like to call earth cracks. So we want to first learn the different types of trees available for CS2 and there are two types. The European, which is on the left selection, and the North American, that is on the right. So I will plant the EU trees in the same order of rows and columns from the interface, so we will know exactly what they look like when they fully mature. And I will also plant the trees as close enough possible to each other of the same type. When we flip to the North American trees, you will notice that some trees are shared. Therefore, I will only plant the different trees on the same row and column pattern from the EU. When they have fully matured, I will share this information in all my channels so everyone has a reference when planting trees. Okay, so they will take some time to grow, but at least we will know what they look like. Uh, when they fully mature. So on the top left is the info panel and what we are looking for is the wind direction because air pollution is a thing in City Skylines 2 and we need to keep in mind that the wind is blowing in that direction therefore our industries should be on the northeast and when it comes to the water the water is flowing downstream Therefore, our uh, water pump should be on top and our sewage should be on the bottom. So let's go ahead and plan those things. And our electricity is over here. So I'm going to start creating a road network. Okay, and as for our power... We need to connect this uh, since this already has a road. I am just going to create a uh, small entrance here. Then I'm going to put down the transformer station. And we simply need to connect it with a power line. Just click on the end and click on it and it should be connected. And we already have power in our network. So when it comes to the water, let's add a water pumping station. I will place it over here. And the water pumping station requires a road connection. So you can see it's asking for a road. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, place one. However, let's plan the direction of our roads. Uh, so here's our zoning. So you can see there's left for the European, right for the North American. So my plan is to zone everything to the left uh, European 
and right to the North American. So before we go any further, I want to manage expectations. The goal for this video is to understand the different buildings and what they look like and kind of like the best pattern on putting them together. So that is my learning process whenever I have a new game. Okay, so you're going to notice on this side, I have a one unit spacer. So we get to see what happens if we put one unit and one is just complete uh, full grid. All right, so let's go ahead and start zoning. So again, we're going to start with the European. Oh, let's go ahead and play the simulation. The European will be on the left side. So I'm just going to do a complete zone. Then the commercial will also be on the left side while our EU is still selected. Okay, so while that's zoning, it appears that I forgot to set our industry. So I'm going to go ahead and place it over here, I suppose. So residential and commercial have two different types. While the industry, there's only one type. So it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to just zone it completely so we don't have to worry about a european or a north american type okay now it's asking for more residents let's go ahead and zone in some uh north american residential and some north american uh commercial oops it seems like we forgot our sewage Okay, now everything should be functioning. We are now at times three speed. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. So these are the European uh, residential. So what I notice is there are some buildings that are four by six. And it this seems to be the largest building type for the European. And we also have a minimum of two by six as well. So so these squares that you see, these are called units and they are measured by width by depth. So for instance, this is two, two units and then up to six, I believe it goes there. Yeah, so it's up to six. So this is a two by six. This is a four by six and so on. And when it comes to the commercial, it appears that the largest building is a five by six all right let's just take mental notes on the different types and for the american or the north uh yeah north american the largest size is also the same it's four by six and only two at least two width Okay, so we have reached the first milestone, uh, which gave us some more cash, uh, some points, and some expansion points. So this we can use to unlock. Uh, so far, it, we are just needing more residential, and it also unlock healthcare and garbage management. So for now, we're just going to continue to pacify the other needs. And it also has the demand for medium size. So if we look, we have medium EU. So let's go ahead and zone this on uh, this side. Oh, you know what? Yeah, these are the one spacers, right? So let's uh, first do the normal one. And I'm going to zone it here. And then the medium, I will zone here. And let's do the same exact thing for the North American side. So the row housing, if we look closer, they are all one by six or maximum six. You know what? Let's do a, a full uh, zone so we have a better understanding of what they look like. Oh, look at that. That's unfortunate. So I, I have the same setting as European, but if you zone over them, even though they are exactly the same type, they will demolish. That is peculiar and should not happen, especially if there's the same exact type all right so we need to be careful about that so we have pre-zone quite a bit and it's going to take a while for everything to build so let's go ahead and explore the other thing so let's add in a healthcare service so i'm just gonna put it right over here 
and let's go check out the number of uh, upgrades they have so they have an ambulance depot and it's inside the structure itself so that's a nice thing and the extension wings uh, the extension wings are infinite right you can put them anywhere on the building as long as it is touching which is not really ideal uh, but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create spaces in between so first uh i'll just attach this and then place one here kind of do the same here and there okay so it's larger than it seems it's a little redundant but uh, this is our first hospital uh then there's also death care available so let's go ahead and add a cemetery just gonna put it in between here this will be our noise and pollution buffer and there she is so let's click on it and see the attachments available so there is a temple that provides uh, increased well-being uh there is a molosseum uh becomes a sightseeing attraction okay that seems like a good thing so let's go ahead and add them okay now this guy is huge so i've created space for some pathways and trees and whatnot but yeah uh that's where we have them now we have more uh demands again so since there's so let's take a closer look again of what we've uh, made so the commercial areas they look more of the same right there's just a variety of color um let's go ahead and zone a few more so this time we're going to zone a different type so for instance i'm going to put the commercial inward and again so six is the no five no i'm correct it is six so six is the maximum width so i'm just going to rezone that okay there we go so we have oh it's a four four by six all right, let's just go ahead and zone this. Okay, and then we're going to zone in the residential inward. Now we are uh, milestone two with additional rewards. Uh, but let's go ahead and just continue zoning and uh, kind of change each uh, block differently with a different zone to see what it looks like. Okay, now, so the zone strategy here is we have our commercial towards the corners while we have our residential in the middle. So we're going to see how it looks like. And on the milestone that we unlock, we have medium density housing. So it has, so it is basically small apartment buildings. So let's go ahead and add them uh, in our new area here. So since it's new, we're just going to do a full zone. Okay, and it appears that we have a lot of commercial demand. So I'm going to add in our commercial. So we still have low density. Um, so I'm going to put it on this side, similar to the uh, design that we have on the first area. Okay, so as we wait for things to uh, populate, let's go ahead and add in a school. But we also have garbage. So I, that's pretty important. Let's put it here. So the brown circle that you see indicates the limit of where you can uh, create your area. So as you put that down, you're going to see these fences. I think it's a lot easier if you uh, just put down the fence first. So you, it closes and it uh, locks and then it's going to ask you to if you want to put another one. So you just have to cancel that. So you have your first uh, facility of whatever it may be then just click on it and then click on the area tool then you can adjust it just drag it outward uh, if you need to create nodes just drag it here so again i like to drag it out first and then from the middle drag down um let's go ahead and unlock a new tile 
Then let's maximize the area of our garbage. So I have no clue if being near the water will cause pollution, but this is the this is the way to learn and find out, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and, and uh, increase our zone area. So since our garbage area is here, I am definitely just going to zone our commercial on this end. And uh, if this is the same as City Skylines 1, uh, commercial does not mind being next to pollution. Uh, so again, don't mind uh, the design. Um, we are just learning the different types. Uh, speaking of which, I completely forgot to zone it properly. Okay, so as everything is flatlined, let's go ahead and add in our schools. So most people, what they do is, let's say they just attach uh, buildings uh, directly on the road. But instead, what I am going to do differently is I'm going to create like a little entranceway. So, and then create that. And then from here, I am going to attach uh, one of the buildings. So let's start with a high school. So I'm aware that it is relatively large. So let's go ahead and place her right over here. So I understand that it is off center, but it doesn't matter. And let's find out what attachments you can have. So there's an extension wing. Oops. And we are now uh, milestone three. There's an extension wing, and, and there is a school library. Then there is a sports field, which is huge. So, uh, let's put her just on this side. Okay, and it also requires road there. So, let's make sure that is attached. Okay. So, instead of, like, placing, let's say, the elementary school elsewhere. elsewhere, And this looks small, right? But if we combine them together, it's going to look a lot bigger so let's try to plan that out so from using this i am going to create a little road and we are going to add our elementary school here okay and there's our elementary school uh let's add in the attachments so there's an extension wing uh there's a playground and there's a child clinic i think it'll be neat if we can put it up front right so it looks kind of like a gazebo. So let's make adjustments to our roads. Uh, one thing to take note is once you place down an attachment, it is permanent. So you have to keep that in mind. So let's put in mm, the playground. Uh, unfortunately, cannot turn. So, all right, let's start with this then. Then add in the playground. Okay, so I've left little spaces for... Uh, pathways and here i could even add another and add a playground next to it okay now it looks a little bigger than before and here we we can just simply connect it to the main road uh what else do we have so we also have a police and uh fire stations so we're gonna try to do the same thing where we kind of extend it out so with that said, let's create our little road. Okay, let's start with the uh, fire station. So it is relatively small. And let's find out the attachments available. So there's only one. Okay, and then the uh, police station, let's place it like right next to it. Okay, then the attachments available, there's also just one. Okay, I think I'm a little happier with this setup. Okay, so that's good. We have some... Uh, demands again so we need more industry so let's go ahead and start filling in this side so when it comes to industry i realize that there's specialized industry so there are different types so we got livestock grain and so forth but for this video we're just going to concentrate on the basic ones so i'm just going to continue zoning the uh, generic industries so when we look at them a little closer this is what they look like and it seems like they look pretty good when there are no spaces in between. 
So this one has a space. Uh, I guess it looks fine, but at least now you know what it looks like and you can decide if you want like a tiny space in between or keep them as compact as possible. Um, for me, I'm not so sure myself, but either way, at least you have a visual on what they look like. All right, let's add in more commercial. So I'll just continue to zone commercial on this side since it is near the garbage. Okay, so we have a peculiar uh, situation because we need more industry and we can't zone any on this side knowing that the uh, wind pollution or the wind is going to the northeast. So we need to unlock a tile here and uh, continue our industries on that side. Uh, so instead of creating an interchange, let's go check our progression uh, development. Uh, let's see for roads. So there are highways and then there are intersections. So let's go ahead and unlock uh, this. We're going to go for highways. And it seems we also need the large roads. Then let's unlock intersections. But we need we need three more development points. Okay, so these are the apartment buildings. These are the North American type. While these are the European. So we'll notice that there are some spaces in between. And there doesn't appear to be a corner building type. So you're going to have this awkward thing. Uh, so this is why I have this uh, kind of idea of putting commercial at the corners. right? So if we place the commercial at the corner it may look uh, a little better so the north american buildings appear to blend better when it comes to corners right so here it looks a little more natural while here we have these uh gaps um and it doesn't close out the uh the corner of the tile as much and it also creates these things so i so probably the North American would be the best uh, choice when it comes to the uh, uh, medium apartment buildings. Oh look, we have a building on fire. And it completely collapsed. Oh my. Well that is unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so we have our first man-made disaster in our city. We got some people hanging out, checking out the fire. Uh, this is not safe. You should move along. Uh, let's check out the other issues that we have for the city. So we have... We have not enough customers. Okay. So let's check out the pattern here. And this one is saying... Uh, high rent. Okay. So our not enough customers. It, it appears to happen when you have like a, like a full block of commercial zoning so in this end you oops now we are level four and that comes with uh we have parks and it seems we also have transportation but here there is no uh not enough customers when i zone on the corners of the tile and then on this side this may probably have issues in the future and what else we also have offices available oh that's exciting um I'm going to guess we're going to need a college for that. And we are going to build our intersection here so we can add more industry. Okay, we have a pretty chunk of uh, uh, land and development points used. Uh, so again, let's uh, flatten the terrain. So I think I'm going to go with the trumpet roundabout because it's fairly small. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. Oops, so I have the wrong one. It has the two-lane highway, so I'm going to upgrade that. So you need to use the upgrade tool or replace tool and then just drag to the direction where you want it. So if I want it here, I left click, then drag towards the uh I mean from the right, drag to the left, and then from the left, drag to the right, and now we have the right direction. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect this together. Okay, so I'm just going to zone in our uh, industry and let's make sure that power is connected. Let's go ahead and uh, create more zone areas. So we have a one spacer. Let's try a no spacer in between. So I think we need to add our uh, service, okay, road services, road maintenance depot. That's right. Let's add this somewhere. Let's find a good spot. Okay, I've placed it down here. Let's see what kind of attachments is available. So it is built within. Okay, I'm just going to start connecting things together. Seems that we have a massive traffic jam here because everything is bottlenecking. Um, so let's, yeah, let's make more connections so that it bottlenecks less. Okay, let's check out the other things that we've unlocked. Uh, so we have some parks. So we have a small park and let's try to add them within our school area. Uh, there is a small plaza and it seems like there has something in the middle. And we have a small playground. We have a dog park. So let's start with the small plaza. Let's try to put it in the middle. And look at that. We have a small plaza. Uh, and let's build our roads around it. Okay, so I've added a small park here, right? It seems to fit well. And then I've added uh, playgrounds on this side. So they are the same exact one, but it's nice that the color changes. So at least they don't look uh, too obvious that it's the same exact building. Uh, we could do a little decorating, but that's not our focus uh, at the moment. So again, let's take a closer look at what we have. So we didn't really explore the uh, row housing because they are still being developed. So it seems that the maximum uh, depth is by three. And then the other three is just a backyard. Uh, but when it comes to the corner, it starts to look like this, which looks very awkward. So it's really a matter of preference. But... For the most part, they look similar. The, the major difference is these ones. Right? You, you also see a lot of green buildings. And we have a signature build building available. But uh, a space in between looks like a good idea. Because they have naturally spaces uh, like beside them. Which is neat. Well, this has like a... Uh, a hedge fence so that's uh, something to take note of so it's a really a ma matter of view on which one you prefer so this one I developed this with a uh, commercial on the sides but as you notice there are there are uh, no complaints there are no complaints of not enough customers when we put them at the corners while here when we have like a full zone they start to complain or at least some of them. Uh, and this is complaining of high rent. Okay. So I suppose, yeah. So the houses are more expensive. 
but if we have row housing and the low rent uh they are less likely to complain so that is a good note oh so here are the row houses for uh for north america right so i think this was good having the uh, commercial on the corners right they kind of blend in together quite nicely on this side this is the european so either one works right i, I think i'm quite happy with each uh if you use either one but uh definitely having the corner commercial is a good idea yeah they're less likely to complain and that is it for today's episode. It is only a few days until City Skylines 2 will be officially released. And I want to thank Paradox for considering me to have early access. And of course, it was completely my fault for not checking my email thoroughly for the invite. I will be streaming City Skylines 2 from time to time to learn more. But until then, this is Captain Obvious signing off. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.